evening, ducklings. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Ducky. Good grubbing. Had a friend of mine make this shirt for me. We're testing out some different fonts. So this one says good grubbing. And on the back, it's Cooking with Ducky. Let me know if y'all if y'all like this font or, or what. We're just playing around with some stuff. So tonight, what we got going on tonight? Tonight is a little different. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm actually making a kind of a breakfast dessert. If you follow me on Facebook, you know I've been hinting about this the last day or so. Uh, we kind of went into the test kitchen and started playing around with some stuff and uh, I got I was like man I like it. everybody liked it the family enjoyed the heck out of it so we're gonna do it for you tonight so what is this called this is called sweet cream French toast now it's basically like a stuffed French toast or a French toast sandwich or whatever you know whatever you want to classify that I classify it as a dessert because I can't really see eating this for breakfast because it's like it's sweetness overload. So let's get into it. what do we got? So first things first. You're gonna need this will make serves four people. So you're gonna need some brioche, sliced brioche bread, and we're gonna use uh two you're gonna use eight slices of brioche bread. Uh, you're gonna need a cup of milk, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, you're gonna need four eggs. You're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're going to need a teaspoon of nutmeg. Two tablespoons of cinnamon or cinnamon sugar. And a tablespoon of sugar. And that's what's going to go into our egg wash. So, let's go ahead and start with this. So everybody knows how to pretty much crack an egg and all that. If you don't, this is how you do it. Just bust it on the side, pop it open. Like so. Make sure we don't get any shells in there. Get my wet rag. Alright, so our next step is we're going to add our one cup of milk. And I'm using whole milk. You could use 2% or if you want to use skim milk or low fat milk, you know, that's totally up to you. Uh, we're going to go with a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay. We're going to put our vanilla extract. So that's one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Like that. And it's that good Mayan gold vanilla that we got when we went down to uh, Cosmel. We've been using it a little bit. Alright, so we got our one teaspoon of nutmeg. Put that in there. Two tablespoons of cinnamon sugar or cinnamon. And one tablespoon of sugar. Okay. Now we're going to mix all this together, make our wash, we want to bust our eggs up pretty good, incorporate everything, like so, it should look something like that, something like that. Now the next thing you're gonna want to need, you're gonna need a wanna need a dish, a square, so you'll be able to flip your bread. You want something to have a little room for. Uh, I like using these big metal bowls just to mix, but we don't need nothing this deep. When you actually need something a little shallow, on side like that. Okay. And we are on the E series. I have the E series at 400 degrees. And she's already popping and ready to rock and roll. As y'all can see, you're gonna need some tongs and a spatula. So, first things first.
I take out two slices. Okay. And we're just going to dip them in there. Like that. And we're going to give them a flip. Like that. And we'll let it drain off some of the excess. Okay. Then we're going to lay it down. And there's one. Okay. Let's do two. Now just press it down a couple of times. Now drain it off. The longer you let this sit, it'll soak up all that eggness. And the bread, I mean, if you like super eggy French toast, then hey, go for it, man. Uh, I don't like a super real eggy French toast when I'm when I'm for making this. This is a little something different. Now, like I've said before on the E-Series, you can put down some butter or some oil or cooking spray. You don't have to put it down because it's the non-stick material, but if you want to put it down for flavor, go for it. I tried it when I did it. Uh, I did it both ways. I did it with the butter, with the uh, the whirl, the butter substitute that I told you all about. I did it with that, and I did it without, just like this, and I could take it either way, to be honest with you. Uh, they both have advantages you know you get that buttery taste if you like that buttery taste and or you don't get the buttery taste it's just how you like it like I said I could do either or so you're gonna let that go for a little bit let that cook it shouldn't take too too long to cook I don't know a couple of minutes uh, when I had it saturated it took forever and it almost kind of burnt it a little bit but in a way it kind of it kind of helped it because you give you that little burnt crunch but it really didn't taste burnt it was like a you know like when you have that sugary burnt crunch and it's, it's like a mm, you know that just that mm, that's what it was kind of like all right so there we go we want it to look pretty much something like that Don't ask me what the calorie intake is, because I do not know. Ah. Probably. So, this is step one. Now, the next step we're about to get to in just a second here. As soon as we let this cook down, that's all it cook. Now, you can use regular bread if you want. Uh... I like the brioche because the brioche kind of got that little sweetness to it and, you know and it's also kind of got a buttery taste to the brioche I find uh, I've been using a lot of brioche for different things like my breakfast sandwiches and stuff bacon egg and cheese sandwich brioche all the way it's, it's the way to go uh, okay So we are about there. We should be. Let's check it. A little bit longer. A bit longer. We almost there. We almost there. Hope everyone's doing good out there in YouTube land. Uh, you know, I, I when I was down, you know, I, I, I thought about y'all often, but you know, and I did miss y'all, and I thank y'all. Like I said, I thank y'all for the prayers and for everyone that left me good comments and even bad comments and you know I'm thankful for everything uh, I just want to let y'all know it really meant a lot to me that y'all checking up on your boy uh, made me feel wanted <laughs> I already know I am but it just it made me feel a little bit extra wanted okay there we go so we're gonna take this off okay and we're gonna let it cool down for a bit now while that's doing its thing step two all right, so here's the cream filling. What are you going to need? Oh, I forgot about this. You are going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one eight ounce bar of cream cheese, half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and a whole cup of powdered sugar. 
Now, let your cream cheese sit out. You know, let it get a little warm. It's a little easier to work with. Okay. Next, we're going to add our vanilla. So, there we go. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Almost all like that. We're going to add our half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Add half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Whole cup of powdered sugar. Now I know powdered sugar is funny, so you get a whole cup or close to a cup, three quarters of a cup, you know, it'll be fine. So next, take your beater. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Let's just give it a really good mix. We're going to take them in overdrive. Well, make sure you break up all the cream cheese. You want it very creamy, kind of fluffy. Where I start to make peaks. I'll say peaks, but you know, we don't want to peak it like you know, doing a lemon meringue pie like meringue. But we want it to have kind of like a peanut butter spread consistency. Okay? Something like that. Alright, so next step. Our French toast has cooled down a little bit. Okay, so what are we going to do, Ducky? So you're going to take some of this and I want you to spread it on there. Like you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You put as much or as less as you want. I don't like a whole lot of it. Okay. All right, step. Now, this stuff right here is called Cajun Power Sweet Treat Chocolate Sugar. I'm gonna have a link. I found this at a. Uh, 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 a market, you know, like a, uh, a all market, whatever you want to call them, a vegetable market and stuff. And uh, they're from Abbeville, Louisiana. I'm gonna post a link, their phone number, and their website and everything. You can check them out. Now, what this is is, like it says, chocolate sugar. I say, Ducky, what is chocolate sugar? Best I could guess, this is kind of like cinnamon sugar, but with chocolate. So we're gonna dust a little bit of this on top. Just like that. Then the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take some of that Hershey's chocolate syrup. And we're just gonna drizzle a little bit on top like so. And then last but not least, the last final step here. A little bit of heavy. Extra creamy ready whip. And we just want to put a little bit. You can put more if you want. If you got some cherries, put your cherry on there. Hey, whatever, dude. But here it is the sweet cream French toast dessert. Now let's give it a whirl here. Let's cut into it. Now when that cream on the inside starts to melt like that, man, let's get a little bit of that. All right, y'all take a bite. Y'all check it out. Here we go. Let me get a bite. You know, it's sweet, but it's not over overly sweet. I don't find. Um, I've eaten cakes that were a lot sweeter. But hey, y'all give this a like, subscribe, check the little bell, let you know when I put up new videos. Go check me out on the Facebook page. It's just cooking at Ducky, cooking with Ducky on Facebook. Um, 
my Instagram, cooking underscore with underscore ducky on Instagram. And uh, I will see y'all, like I said, next video. But go to church on Sunday, love on God, tell them Ducky sent you. And we will see you next video.